crowd, but he just I'll picked up his opponent. So the Tongan tank is through. So Wolf Graham in the red, the Tongan, and Ruble Akaba, the giant Cuban in the blue. And the big thing about this Cuban, he does have hand speed. For a, a man who stands six foot seven, he has marvellous hand speed. And the Tongan, you have to imagine, is simply not going to be quick enough. The Tongan actually moves his body slowly, but his hands are quite quick. He showed in his opening contest. Oh, he's in there having a go already. Now, what I what I wanted to see after the first fight was whether this big guy, the super heavyweight Cuban, could take a punch. But oh, he's being nailed here by the Tongan. He's in trouble. He's all over him. He certainly is in trouble. He's going to get an eight count. The Unbelievable. Crowd, the crowd can't believe it. The crowd has gone berserk. They've seen Ruble Carver nail the Italian in the first round. They've seen the Cubans say that no one will go around with this bloke. And this Tongan is all over him. Wow. Incredible opening round. We wouldn't have given the Tongan a chance before the fight, but he's putting up a terrific battle here. And the Cubans lost his mouth guard, looked, perhaps looking you know, for a bit of time. You know what I think the Cubans done? Because it came in that corner where no shot was scored. The Cubans spat his mouth guard out. To get a bit of a break. To get a break. Yeah. Remember I said to you, John, my only question was whether he could take a shot on the chin. Well, the Tongan got him in all sorts of trouble. Oh. And the Tongan leads 3-1. Well, I do take it back what I said about being better than a young George Foreman. I take it back. He was just so impressive in his opening fight. But styles do make fights and opponents make fights. And we never gave this Tongan a snowball's chance in hell, did we, no, John? Well, he really struggled against the boy from Bolaris and, and was probably lucky to get lucky the decision. Lucky to get the decision. Have a look at this. He's on the bike in a big way. And the American crowd are chanting Tonga, Tonga, Tonga. The Cuban coaches in the corner are throwing their hands up. They're terribly frustrated. Oh. Left hook from the Cuban boy landed on Wolfram's chin. He took it really well. Don't think he's fully recovered yet, Ruble Carba. His hand speed looks slow here. He looks like he's in slow motion, Ruble Carver. His opening fight, he looked snappy, fast-handed, and looked like he could box and punch. Yeah, his hand speed was tremendous in the opening fight, but he's been tagged early in this one, and I'd say he's a bit groggy. And what about the respect he's showing this Tongan? And the straight left was a bottler. Through again he goes to even it up, and now he comes over the top, throwing bombs of his own. He's down. He slipped. And the crowd have loved it. Well. Clipped on the way and down he went. The standing eight count. Coming up to the bell. Oh, the Tongan putting up a great effort here. And another big left hook. What about this for a fight? Oh, standing ovation from the crowd. Unbelievable. As we move in. To the second round, Alexis Rubalcaba, the giant Cuban. They said no one should stand around with this bloke. They said he's the biggest puncher in the division, and we had no doubt that that was correct. But Pale Wolfgram has rocked him. The Tongan and the crowd have risen to him. And we, as we said, Wolfgram was lucky to get his... Oh, there's the right hand from Rubalcaba. Wolfgram was probably lucky to get the decision in his opening bout. It was very, very tight indeed. It's a terrible scar on the Cuban's left shoulder. In some sort of accident at some stage. Now the Cuban's starting to get on target. And an eight count for the Tongan. Yeah. He's shaking his head. He's saying, I don't need it. I don't think he was hurt one bit. Wouldn't hurt him with an axe. The big boy. Won't they love this guy back home? 
Rublakaba getting on top here now. Reco seems to have fully recovered almost from that uh, first round beating he took. Yeah, but for a fellow who we thought had some class, the he's way he's just walked in and thrown that right hand without trying to set it up with the left is very sloppy. Yeah, he's just brawling at the moment. And I think there was a mouth guard came out again, wasn't there? Something went flying. Look at this. He has been compared to a young George Foreman. That's the stats on him we read, and we had to agree with it. We thought he was more impressive... But now I take it all back. I think uh, he's going to be in trouble against some of the faster guys in this division. He might get lucky and get through here. Stop. Yeah, I reckon Wolf Graham felt that one. One of the real good boxers will trouble this bloke. But uh, this is nothing but a slugfest. There is uh, nothing graceful about this bloke as he stepped in and threw that right hand completely off balance. I'll tell you what, it's the first one to land a big bomb here. Anyone can anyone can pull this out of the fire. But at this stage, you've got to say that the Cuban's starting to get on top.